Hello, third graders. Over the last couple of days, we've been talking about how to represent or show numbers in different ways. And we are going to continue to do that today, but we're also going to move on where we start to look at patterns and numbers, where we add and subtract tens and hundreds and thousands. So why don't you come on over here and we'll look at what I wrote. It says, we have been talking about different ways to represent or show numbers. Today, we are going to continue to practice how to represent bigger numbers. It says, we are also going to preview a helpful skill. We will be working on noticing patterns when we add or subtract 10, 100, or 1,000 from a number. So we really have two math focuses today. Our first is I can read, write, and represent whole numbers up to 10,000. And the other one is, is I can find 1,000 more or 1,000 less than a given number. Really today we're just going to start talking about tens because that's a great place to start. So I want you to look at this hundreds chart that I have. I really like this one. If you have access to one at all, that's color because it's really nice to be able to see the differences between the numbers. And so you can see here this goes up in rows of 10. And when I go across, those are called rows. And now when I go up and down, they're called columns. These are sometimes the best way you can to, to think about it is that oftentimes columns are the outside of houses and you see them in the front and they're kind of holding up the front of the house. So columns go up and down and rows go horizontally. Okay, so they're kind of lying flat. So you can see here that these are in rows. The numbers for a hundred chart that you've seen since you've been in kindergarten are in rows of 10 right here. And you can also see that they're also in columns of 10. So say let's start off with this number right here, say 34. And I wanted to add 10. I would look right down in the column because I'm adding 10, so I'm going to a greater number. So I go from 34 to 44. Now I want to add 10 more, and I'm going to go from 44 to 54. Now you probably already know what this pattern is, but if you don't, just pause it for a moment and look at this as I point at these three numbers. See if you can see what the pattern is. I will tell you the pattern is, is that you're seeing that the ones place stays the same, four, four, and four. But the tens place, because I said we're adding 10, is going up by one. So we're going from 34, 44, to 54. And that's a really important pattern to think about when you're trying to do mental math and add or subtract 10. Now, and you can look back if we subtract, you said 34 to 24. You can see you're subtracting one out of the tens place and one digit out of the tens place, and then that the ones place is staying the same. So that's a really important pattern to remember as you're adding and subtracting 10, 100, and 1,000. And we're just practicing our mental math skills. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to move, I'm going to kind of shift a little bit, and I'm going to show you this sheet I have. You're going to do a similar one for homework today. It's called Special Number Sheet. And I really like it because it gives you a chance to look at um, different ways to represent numbers all on one page. So our first, our special number that we're looking at today is 349. So why don't you say it out loud to yourself, 349. Then over here it says write the number in expanded form. So you can see the people here wrote 300 because there's three. that's the value of the three in the hundreds place. Then over here we need to write the value of the four in the tens place. It's not just four, it would be, let's see if I can do this or not. I may have to start over here. I was having some trouble with this earlier. It would be 40 in the tens place. So our value of it would be 300 plus 40 plus something. Now hold on here, this is not quite working for me. It's giving me a fancy zero right there. So then what is the value of the nine in the ones place? It is nine. So 300, boy, I'm having some issues here, right here with my technology. I think I have to delete this. So the value of, let me go right this, 
would be, nope, still not working. Sorry, you guys. Sometimes this is when you're trying something new. 340 plus 9. Nope. <laughs> that, just pretend that's a 9 and not some crazy other number right there. <laughs> Anyways, so let's look below here. Is 349, is it even or is it odd? Now, even numbers end in 0 and 2 and 4 and 6 and 8. So odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So you can see since 349 ends in 9, this would make it, oh boy, is it going to make it hard for me again? Why is it going to do that? Is it going to make it for me? Let's try this. It's an odd number. No, I want to go like this. And I'm going to go like this. Let's see if this works. <laughs> yep. We're having all sorts of troubles right here, but we're just doing the best we can here. Let's try this. Odd. It's odd. There we go. Not really, but kind of, sort of. There we go. I'm just... Man, I don't know why, but it is an odd number. Next, we're looking right here. It says the value. I want this to be stay right there. Oh, boy. This is giving me all sorts of trouble today. The value of the 3 is what? The value of the 3, the digit 3 right there, is 300. Okay, because the value of the 3 in there, the digit is 300. The value of the digit 4 is 40. So let's see if you guys can do this. Nope, am I still having trouble? Right here, doing the best I can. The value of the digit 4 is 40. The value of the digit 9, let's see if I can make it through this, is just simply 9. There we go. So how many 10s are there right there? It's asking how many 10s there are. There's four tens in, there's four tens in the four, <laughs> in the four place. How many ones are there? There's nine ones, even though it looks now like a spyglass. How many hundreds are there? There's three hundreds. Okay, next here it says, which set of blocks so shows 349? Now remember, that the flats equal 100. So I'm going to count here. 1, 2, 3. I know there's 300 there. 1, 2, 3. So they've both got 300. Now I'm looking for four tens. 1, 2, 3, 4. This has four tens. 1, 2, 3. That only has three tens. So I know that can't be right. So I know it's got to be this set of blocks shows 349. Next it says fill in the empty boxes on the number line. So you can see here, this is a number line and it's going up by one. So it's starting right here at 346, then it goes to 349 and 352. So I know it, when we go this way, that number line gets greater. So I think to myself, as I see 346, I'll start here. What comes after 346? Oh, I know it's 300. I don't think I'm going to be able to write this in here, but we can try, right, 347. I'm going to just skip this because it's too difficult for me right now. 347. This would be 348. This would be 349. And what would this be? 350. Okay, then you'd have to fill in this box at the end, and you have to think to yourself, what comes before 346? What's one less? So it would be 345 would be right here. This is a little bit more of what we were talking about earlier when I was talking about adding and subtracting 10 more and 10 less. So 10 more than 349. So you'd have to think about adding one to that tens place, which would be 359. Boy, I really can't believe this is happening, but whatever, we're trying our best, 359. 10 less than 349 would be 10 less than 349. So think about that 10 minus, in the tens place, minus 1 would be 3. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do either. 339. OK, 
Okay. And over here would be 100 more than 349. It would be 449. I can't write it right there, but we'll come back to it at another time. Hopefully I'll like fix this glitch later. Next it's asking you comparing less than, greater than, or equal to. Remember you learned in kindergarten that the big mouth opens to the bigger number. So 349 or 347, the big mouth wants to eat the bigger number. It wants to eat 349. 348 and 349 wants to eat the bigger number, which is 349. Then you have 349 and 350, which is the bigger number, 350. Okay, third graders, hopefully you'll have a little more luck today, but you'll be doing a special number sheet on 100, the number 123. Have a great day, you guys.